for any international student can go back to China. If you want to know, please watch the full video. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, I have a one question to our honorable cultural counselor, sir. Uh, we are still uh, two years in our country. Uh, it's not uh, actually my question. Uh, as an international student, it's my wish. Uh, we hope uh, we will go back soon, sir. Thanks. Actually, it's, it's for me, me, right, Kassin? Right, <laughs> uh, uh, yes, yes, not. <laughs> Before, Before I came here, uh, I actually, I just imagined, imagined uh, actually, actually, I expected such a problem like from, from, from you. you. And, and also, also, I think this question is not only, you know, from you and maybe from many others, right? It's really a tough question, too. Uh, may I ask you a question about uh, uh, which year are you studying now? I mean, some sophomore, sophomore or third year, year or how about Lisa? Two Lisa's here, here, right? Oh, I mean, the final year. Final year. Final year. year. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, you know, yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah. Yes, yeah, beyond this, this is a challenge, challenge question, we, we have some, you know, uh, uh, standard answers, answers to this question, but I want to be frank to you. First, I how, how say in China, China with a real condition, where I, I, I'm simply, uh, I have the same, you know, some like sympathy, sympathy with your, with your feeling and with your, your situation now. I also wish all of you could just come back to the normal uh, track and normal life. As far as I know, after COVID-19, there are about some like 4,000 uh, or, or maybe, maybe more than 4,000 Bangladesh, Bangladesh students returning to, to, to Bangladesh, Bangladesh to your modern country. country. I, I understand, understand you know, that at that time, time it's a winter, winter vacation. vacation. I mean, all, all the students who re return to home, it, it doesn't, doesn't mean you don't, don't want to stay in China, China because, because you, you just, just come, come back to, to your home for, for winter, winter vacation. vacation. At, at that, that time, no one knows the COVID-19 will grow up, something like like that. And, and of, of course, course, quite, quite a, lot a lot of students, students stay, still, still stay in China, China because, because I, as, as far as I know, I know my rock member is something like, like uh, uh, maybe Maruf or maybe a doctor Park. Maybe, maybe you can, if you can, can if, if you, you have, have more exact, exact number, you can share with me. As far as I know, I know there are some, 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 some like, like you know, uh, maybe almost fifteen. Maybe almost 14, 14 to 15,000 15, Bangladesh, Bangladesh students, students. or maybe, maybe some, some um, working staff, staff or some, some uh, yeah. professionals, professionals in China. China. That, that means, means at, at least, least one third to return, return to, to Bangladesh. Bangladesh. And, and now, uh, almost, almost two, two years, years maybe uh, more than two years, years have passed. passed. I understand, that for, for example, especially for those uh, students who almost, who are almost, almost graduate, graduate, or uh, the, the, who were well, almost graduate, after, after one or two years, years they meet, or they just a very hard situation, situation for them. Because, because I just imagine, imagine if I were you, and had, had the same as this problem, that is, I have to consider whether I just want to, I, have, uh, we, I, I want to go on with my study in Chinese, Chinese university, university. Uh, whether, whether I should move, move to some, some other countries, countries whether, whether I should choose to, to work. Of course, some, some of you have finished your study online and also you can get your uh, diploma or degree. But for some students, if, for example, if you only started to work there one or two years, it's really hard for you to make a lot of, you know, choice or decision whether I should go to try to apply to the countries who has opened, just like in the UK or Australia or some other countries. Whether I should just go on study here online or whether I should start my work. It's really hard. But to be honest, I can still guarantee one thing. That is, Bangladesh absolutely is within the first group of, we call it maybe just a pilot at least. Right? In, in, the, in the, the first group of, of, of the, the countries, countries who will be selected, you know, to, to return, return to China, China to study. study. 
I can tell you, to be honest, at least that you are in the first group of the 20 countries, something like that. And so far, I can tell you maybe one fact. I never maybe said before, maybe even the ambassador never maybe said before. I don't know whether the ambassador will be happy or not for me to say that. But I just tell you the truth. And maybe you, some of you know that. So far, only some, I heard, okay, only some students from Thailand has, has you know, successfully returned. I, I don't know the exact number. I heard they use a charter flight. It's, it's not, not a low flight. flight. They, they return, return to China. China. Some, Some students. And, and also the second country is Pakistan. Pakistan. They, they got, got some permission to offer some visa. visa. But, but my, my good, good friend, friend you know, working there in, in, in the, the Chinese, Chinese embassy there, there. I, I asked them, them they, they say, say we, we yeah, yes, some, you know, visas, but no Pakistan students really return to China. You know what? Because, because there are some, some special difficulty for them. them. One, One thing is flight ticket is very hard to get. Second thing, flight fare is very high. I heard in Pakistan, that's maybe one month ago, I talked with my colleagues, you know, who is also uh, a counselor in Chinese embassy here. The flight fare now has raised to something like 90,000 RMB. 90,000 army, that's not a normal price. Maybe something like 10 or more than 10 times than the normal price. So one thing is very hard to get the flight ticket. The second thing is flight fare. And the other thing, the third thing, I think also is because of the expenses is really high. Even the high, I mean, uh, when you, before you fly to China, maybe you have a lot of medical check, medical, you know, policy uh, check. And, and also, also after you land China, China you, you have, have a lot of you know you have to afford a lot of a lot of you know expense, including accommodation, you know, medical uh, examination and the food transportation, something like that. What I mean is of course I believe some family they can afford, but they feel this is not fair. So when they really started to decide whether to go or not. Maybe they hesitated. So my friend in, in Pakistan, they told me actually no one returned to China. So only some Thailand students, that's only the story I've heard of. So my point is, if China, of course, I want to say ambassador, and also my work, one of my work and my colleagues, we also just write the report to my boss in China, Foreign Ministry, and some other ministries too, too educational, uh, Ministry of Education. education. We, we also introduced in this hard situation, and also the, your, uh, the Bangladesh students' will to return. We just tell everything to my boss in China too. So my point is, as long as the as, as long as, as the, the, you know, the, the, the door, door will be open to international students, Bangladesh students absolutely still, still in the first group of those. I hope you understand. understand. That's, That's what, what I can tell you. Thank you so much, yes. sir. Yeah. Yeah. Back. Hope you understand. 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 Thank you very much. Yes. And, and one more thing, you know, actually, actually last year, or oh, just a few months ago, I think the situation is turning better and better. But, but just, just uh, maybe, maybe one month ago, you can see the Shanghai, you know, you know again, you know, COVID-19, you know, COVID you know, you know broke up, up again. again. So, so we cannot imagine, imagine, you know, because on the ground, you can see, okay, okay it's, it's not, not so serious, serious but, but it's spread very, very fast. fast. That's, That's why, why there's, there's so many people, suddenly we can say, say, hey, in, in China, uh, we're thinking, at that time, we're thinking of in China, China is the most, it's the safest place in the world. But now, Shanghai is a serious, you know, effective, effective place. place. So, so, and also, also we, we have recommended some students. We, we asked, we once asked, asked for the lady list from Africa. We, we got, got some lady list, list, and also we recommend some students, but quite a lot of the students are those studying in Shanghai. Shanghai. So, so now, now, because of the special situation, situation I'm, I'm not, I'm not sure, sure whether, you know, they can go, go 
as, as the, the first group. group. Maybe, Maybe some other students in Wuhan, some as, as in Maru, that's, that's my hometown. hometown. And also in some other cities too. Yeah. yeah. Maybe, Maybe they, they will go first. first. But, but anyway, don't worry. As last time, as long as the door is open, you will be among the first group. That's, That's what, what I can tell. Thank, Thank you, Brenner. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for your positive feedback.